Sometimes you meet them in the NCAA tournament and stuff like that. But, you know, it's just, you know, just got to go out there and play. Thank you. Mm -hmm. how, how easy is it to just block out the craziness over there when you guys go over there? I would say, uh, you know, for me it's easy because, you know, I've been here for four years now. So for me it's just, uh, you know, just focus on what's going on in the court. You know, I would say it's, for, it's easier for me because, you know, I just tune it out. Do you have fun with it, especially during warm-ups? Their warm-ups over there is different because the students are all there. They're chanting. They got the signs up. They're trying to get into y'all's heads already two hours, hour and a half before the game. Um, I would say uh, every once in a while you'll hear that one person that says something funny. <laughs> and, you know, that's what I – one person on the team that is going to repeat, like, yo, did you hear that? And they would just start <laughs> laughing, you know, stuff like that. But I would say you really uh, don't necessarily let anything get to your head. You know, especially doing warm-ups, that's way too early. Do you remember anything specifically? Ah, uh, I really don't. But I know uh, it's going to happen as soon as we get there. Somebody's going to say something funny, <laughs> and one person going to relay it, and we all just going to be laughing. They don't have a real strong post presence, kind of sort of like Notre Dame. Do you anticipate having to run around on the perimeter chasing guys again? Uh, I believe so, you know, from a few games I've seen. But, you know, at the end of the day, we got to wait for the coaches, you know, see what they say. You know, if they want to go small, go small. They want to play big. You know, we got to get out there and guard somebody. The fact that you've had to do that a lot lately, does that make it any easier to do, or is um, it still just because of the physical limitations going to be say, difficult? I would say, uh, you know, it helps you prepare easier. You know, uh, going in a game knowing that you're going to have to you get mentally prepared, you know, ready for it, rather than, you know, going in the game, you know, thinking you're going to uh, be in a post. Instead, then you're out there guarding a shooter or something like that, you know, then – you know, is you gotta get ready quicker. Three of the last six games, you've been on the floor for 30 or more minutes. You're not getting in the foul trouble that you used to. Are you doing anything specifically different to avoid getting in the foul trouble? Um, honestly, I don't believe so. You know, I'm not even thinking about it. You know, um, honestly, I'm just out there playing. You know, uh, fouls, you know, is really. I don't. Know, I don't even be thinking do you, about it. Do you think that's it? Because back in <laughs> December. Yeah. I remember you told me that you start thinking about early in the game. Yeah. Just, I don't want to come in foul and go to the bench yeah. early. Do you think maybe that you're not thinking about it? It might be the answer. It might be. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but then uh, Kennedy, see, it seems like me and Kennedy switch spots, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's <Especially> Sunday. <laughs> yeah. I'd say you may, may have been already addressed this, but Coach talked about how the size advantage could be a double-edged sword, you know, as you're talking about here, having to go out and defend on the perimeter. But the plus side is that you have an advantage on the interior. Mm -hmm. um, does that put a little more pressure on yourself to, to take that approach or the fact that you've played so many games where you've had the size advantage? Um, it's kind of second nature now. I would say, like, right now, uh, you no, know, it's just being prepared. You know, yeah. me, Kennedy, Tony, Luke, no, like, most teams going to have, you know, four perimeter players out there, probably all five. You know, so we just have to get uh, prepared, you know, to be out there guarding the perimeter. And, you know, just make sure we take advantage of our size or else, you know, we need to go small. You know, we can't take advantage, you know, they're getting, you know, what they want on their offensive end, you know, might as well just go small.